friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's Self Care Sunday. Self Care Sunday is the one day a week that we come together for a little self care, skin care, and soul care to talk about love, dating, and the law of assumption. If this is your first time finding me or my channel, Every self-care Sunday is scheduled as either a live premiere or a live stream. So regardless of which one it is, I am here with you live and in person every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for LOA Q&A to talk about the topic of the video, talk about our weekends, our lives. It's always a really, really great time, great vibe, great community of people. So if you don't want to miss out, be sure to subscribe before you go today. And if you also click the notifications bell, you'll get notified before the video premieres so that you never miss it. Normally on Self Care Sunday, I do like a face mask and then I talk about the subject. I'm not going to do a face mask today because I'm going to be touching stuff and I don't want to have any residual face creams, clay masks, whatever on my fingers and get it on my papers. But today is like the recording this video is something I've been really, really looking forward to like Christmas morning level looking forward to because it's going to be as much a surprise for me as it is for you guys. So if you go back into the way, way back machine or just look at the card that I'm going to drop here last year at the end of the year, I did what I did the year before, but this time I recorded it and I put a bunch of stuff in my magical. There's something hard in here. Okay. We'll, we'll see what that is. I put a bunch of stuff in my magical creation box. And um, if you're not familiar with the magical creation box, I cannot wait to open this thing. This is something that Abraham Hicks came up with. And it's the idea is really simple. It's just like, you have a box and you write on it, whatever is contained in this box is, and then you write things down that you're manifesting, you throw them in the box, you lock it away, and you just do so with the intention that these things are, are unfolding in your life, these things are manifesting. This is very much like a set it and forget it approach. Now, mind you, I still do affirmations, visualizations, scripting, all of those wonderful things. But this is a really fun thing to do. And the approach that I have is I do it once a year. Maybe if you're doing something similar, you may do it more often or less often, but I do it once a year at the end of the year. It is now December. And so I get to open it. I honestly have no idea what I put in here last year. So I think what I did last year, and I need to watch my own video to see if I'm right. I think what I did last year is all of the previous sheets of paper that I had in here from the previous year, I looked at them, but I left them in here. I didn't want to take them out. I don't know why. Um, and so there may be like old stuff plus like old stuff, meaning things I put in here in 2020 and then new stuff from like 20. Wait, I have no concept. Last year was 2021. Yeah, so there may be 2020 and 2021 stuff. And now I'm going to put 2023 stuff in here. Um, but we're going to see what I manifested. So I'm opening it up. First, I want to see what's banging around in here. Oh, look, it's a little crystal for fertility because I'm manifesting children. Okay, I like I like that I put that in there. So I'm just going to take out this stack of paper. And we're going to see what I put in here last year. And I'm going to tell you guys whether or not that's manifested yet in my life. And so this will be fun. So here's the stack. We're going to do it. And we're going to see. So first up, <laughs> I wrote, uh, I wanted a $10,000 bonus at work. So here's what's funny. Did I manifest this? Yes. I didn't manifest it in the way that I thought I would. When I put this in here, I did so with the intention of, I was kind of picturing my old job and I was like, I'm gonna manifest a $10,000 bonus. Instead, I manifested a different bonus, a bigger bonus from a new company that I started. I work in tech and the bonuses are really big. So um, I did manifest this and I did so with manifesting an entirely new job. So that one is a success. Okay, so this one hasn't manifested yet, but I know that it is. For this, I just wrote, I love being a mom. So you guys know, or if you've, maybe you don't, maybe you're new, I'm manifesting children. And in the past, my husband and I, before we were married, had two miscarriages and struggled getting pregnant in between those miscarriages. And I have, um, I'm not yet pregnant, but I have manifested so much amazing movement this year. Maybe I'll do a different video on it because I don't want to make this video all about my fertility journey. Um, I have manifested some huge things this year and I have absolute faith and confidence that 
our forever baby, our rainbow baby is right around the corner because of all the amazing like turn of events that have happened. So I love being a mom. We're going to keep that in the box for now. It's still unfolding, but I have no doubt that it's coming. Uh, so the next one, I think I'm going to keep the number to myself. I wrote on there a salary that I wanted. Again, I work in tech. I wrote on there a salary that I wanted and um, I, I beat it. So we're going to put that in. We're going to put that as a win in the win pile because I got that. You know, it's so funny. So on this one, it's about my husband and I. It says we love each other more than ever before. He and I were just talking on the phone earlier because he's at work today and as I'm recording these videos and literally just a few minutes ago, we were talking about how we really do love each other more every single day. And it sounds, I was saying like, it sounds so cliche to say, but like we really do love each other more. We just fall deeper and deeper in love every day. And then apparently I've been manifesting that since last year. So that's awesome. And that makes me feel really good. The next one, our marriage is healthy and strong. I, I love this. I was giving myself some some easy ones. That's a low bar. Our marriage is healthy and strong. Yep, still going strong, still doing, still doing great. Next one. I wrote, we made a million dollars this year. That was a pretty big goal. I will say that we did not make a million dollars and I'm not gonna pretend we made anything close to it. But I do think that, um, everything started coming into place. Everything started coming together where we could make a million dollars next year. My channel could totally blow up tomorrow and, and I have a million subscribers and a million people watching this video and all of a sudden I'm getting in all this crazy YouTube revenue. So I think that everything is coming together where 2023 may be my first million dollar year um, or close to it, but who's gonna complain if it's not quite a million but close. The next one. Uh, this one is still manifesting. I'm a good mom. I think I am a good mom though. Maybe not to human kids, but to like my dogs and my horses and my pig. I do think I'm a good mom. So maybe I'll put that in the wind pile. I have a best selling book. I do have a best selling book. You guys, I wrote a book last year called manifesting abundance and, um, it was selling well on my website. And then I decided to put it on Amazon because I thought for some reason it would do better on Amazon. It did not. So I pulled the book off of Amazon, but I had this weird agreement with Amazon and I can't relist the book on my website until January. So January, the book Manifesting Abundance, a 30 day guide is gonna be back on my website and you guys will be able to get there. It's $9.99, I kept it super affordable. It's an ebook so you can download it and start practicing this the first day. And um, I got a lot of really great feedback on that book. So I'm super excited for that. So I did manifest that. I have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's the next one. Again, <laughs> most people looking at this would be like really discouraged. I'm not because I see how everything is coming together where it's about to happen. It's like we're, you know, like when you're on the roller coaster and it's clicking to the top and you're like, oh no, we're about to do the thing. And then it goes whoosh. I'm on the click, 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 click to the top. And so even though I don't yet have my rainbow baby, I know that it's coming because of all the things that have happened this year. Even though I don't quite have 100,000 subscribers yet, I know that it's coming because of how quickly the channel has been growing. So even though I guess that you could say I have partial manifestations um, for the things that haven't fully manifested yet, I'm not bummed about it because I just like energetically, I feel that it's about to happen. I had this same feeling when I was manifesting my SP and I knew that that everything was coming together and we were about to get back together. I had this, just this knowing. I have this knowing, so I'm not worried about the things that aren't here yet. Oh, here's something that's interesting because I wrote this and then decided that I didn't want this. I'm not gonna say where it is because it's a very specific location, but my husband's in the military and for a while last year, I wanted us to get stationed into a different location. Uh, we're in San Diego, California. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with California. Let's go somewhere else. And then I changed my mind. And so it's really funny because I put a very specific spot in this box. And then a few months later, completely forgetting it was in the box. I was like, I don't want to go there anymore. I, I kind of want to go like to a different coast. Um, 
it didn't manifest. Not even close. There's no partial manifestation. So it's really funny because like the set it and forget it, but my higher self, my subconscious mind still knows what I want, even if I've put something different in the box. So I wrote this one and this one is manifesting. My pregnancies are always so easy for me because in the past, like I said, I've had a history of miscarriage and stuff. So I'm excited to have a super easy pregnancy in 2023 and to share with you guys. Oh, I wrote this one. So this one says, um, Derek is back safely from deployment. So my husband was deployed last year and I knew he was about to deploy when I was doing this box exercise last year. So I put that on there and he is back safely from deployment. Like the way with where, with how things are in the world right now, for the most part, there's not a lot of danger when they go out on deployment, but it's still kind of scary. So I put that in there for him. Oh, we're into the previous year. Oh, we're, so I did leave the previous years in here. Okay. I'm going to show this for funsies. These are from 2019 actually, because Derek and I were not together. Okay. This is 2019 stuff. You guys. Okay. Here we go. So this one says Derek is proposing to me this week. I'm not going to get into why I wrote this week. I've done videos on the whole like, it's happening today, it's happening this week, oh my God. So I wrote that on there and uh, we're, we're married now. <laughs> um, I wrote my full name in cursive with his last name. Um, what else do we got? Derek is so easily committed to me because he was really uncertain about commitment. And that has manifested. I always have more money than I need. And that's true. And that's actually one of my favorite money affirmations. So feel free to steal that one if you want. So Derek and I are getting married on 12, 19, 2020. This did not happen. This, and I love that this is still in here because this, so, this is so motivating for me. So, you know, on some of these sheets that I wrote last year, I wrote things about uh, my pregnancy, my babies, all these things that I'm manifesting, million dollar year, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And like I said a minute ago, I was like, it hasn't quite manifested yet, but I know that it's about to. So I was trying to like give a sense of urgency to the universe by saying, we're getting married on 12, 19, 2020. That's when we're getting married. Because I thought that if I said it and believed it with absolute certainty that I must get married on 12, 19, I didn't but we were back together by then. We got back together two months prior and we were engaged in April of 21 and we were married July of 21. So I still got what I wanted. It was just actively manifesting by the time this day hits. It hadn't quite manifested yet. So seeing this really just reminds me like, yes, everything I have in here will manifest, it may not manifest exactly as quickly as I want it to, but that's okay because I have this amazing and beautiful and wonderful life. In the meantime, sure, like it's it's coming. There's this like peace that and comfort that comes with knowing that it's coming. And then the last one that I have for you guys, this is really funny. Derek is always posting me on his social media. So again, this is about like my higher self knowing what's up. Um when I wrote that, Derek and I were broken up. And um, when we were together in the past, he used to post me all the time on my social media. Once we were broken up, obviously he didn't. He didn't post me on his social media. And it bothered me because I had fears of third parties, just like everyone else. And I was really afraid. And I wanted that validation that comes with him posting me on his social media. I really wanted him to post me on his social media. So I started affirming for that. Um, it did manifest some because there were a couple times, even when we were broken up, that he tagged me in his stories. He would post like a funny meme and tag me, you know, um, but it wasn't posting like pictures of me or pictures of us together, but he was still posting stuff and tagging me in it, which isn't like your typical ex behavior. So it did kind of partially manifest, but something even better happened where he just decided to delete all of his social media. He just decided to delete all of his social media. And so he no longer has Facebook or Instagram or anything like that because he decided it was just a waste of time. So, and I'm actually, I actually prefer 
that. I like that he's not on social media. I don't know. It wouldn't bother me if he was on social media, but I like that he's not. So, so that's everything. That's, and now that I'm looking at all these sheets of paper, I don't think everything I covered in the first half of the video was all from last year. I think it was from last year and probably the previous year once we were actually back together. But um, this is everything from 2019, 2020, 2021. And I'm going to put in 2022. Maybe I'll do it on New Year's Eve. I like doing it on New Year's Eve. So I kind of just have like a nice little close of the year. Hey, 2023, here's what we're manifesting next year. And I'll keep the million dollar one in there. I'll keep the healthy baby in there, the 100,000 subscribers. And maybe I'll add some more things. So if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, so to speak. If you're going to do one of your own, drop a comment below. I think what would be really fun is to drop one or two of the things that you're manifesting. If you want to be vague and just say, I'm manifesting something amazing, um, then that's fine too. I'd love for you guys to respond to other people's comments, kind of just affirming their affirmation back to them. Oh my gosh, I can't wait um, to see all your, all, all that you're going to do with those million dollars. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for our community to grow even more with these hundred thousand subscribers. Or if you're manifesting an SP, you know, you see someone else is manifesting their SP. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for us to go on double dates together. <laughs> I want you to hype each other up in the comments. I have this feeling that 2023 is going to be this amazing year of manifesting so much abundance. And I really want us helping each other on that journey. That's all I got for you. Bye friends. Bye.